was Medusa the monster that we are all told she was? Or was she a woman who was raped and abused by the gods and treated unfairly? That is the premise for Stoneblind by Natalie Haynes, which is a new release this year and is quite literally on the front billed as Medusa's story. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year and so I'm going to give you a quick review. This will all be spoiler free but just my general thoughts. So this has been very very hyped, it's had a lot of attention in sort of the bookish circles. I picked up a beautiful Waterstones um, limited edition uh, copy and I went into this book with the highest of hopes. A feminist retelling of Medusa. Yes please, that's what I want. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure that's what I got. So this book started really strong. The first part, this is broken down into five parts and we get it in very short snippets. So if you read A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes, it's very much told in the same style. Each section told by a different character. You get more sections from some characters than others. All the characters are female. Brilliant. <laughs> The, and the first section was fantastic. We got um, a lot of perspective from Medusa and her sisters, Steno and Eureli, and I was on board. I was on board with this. I liked the connection between Medusa and her sisters, and I thought it was really well done, and I was intrigued as to how this is gonna continue. And then we had sort of like a subplot with Athena going on, and then it went downhill for me. And this very much turned into Percy's story. <laughs> Um, so this obviously follows the uh, the myth of Perseus and Medusa, but I wasn't really that interested in Perseus' story, and that's what we got predominantly. Um, though it was supposed to be through the eyes of female characters, a lot of it was told through the eyes of Athena, so in some ways it was more Athena's story than it was Medusa's. And we are very clearly told um, by one of the perspectives throughout this book what an arsehole Perseus is. And that irritated me quite a lot as well. I felt that as a reader I could have made that decision for myself. I didn't need to be hit around the head with it several times throughout. There was also a level of um, comedy within this, a sort of almost ridiculousness in some of the characters conversations and speeches and it didn't gel with the way that this it just didn't gel for me I felt like this was a classical retelling with sort of contemporary humor and those two things just didn't work in tandem very well for me we got to the end and um, the end was reasonably poignant but at the same time by that point I was so switched off by the fact that I wanted Medusa's story and I'd got Perseus's story um, that it wasn't enough to redeem the book for me. So in, in summary, in summary, this book just, I was really disappointed. I was really disappointed. I think if you want to start with Natalie Haynes, I would start with either her nonfiction, Pandora's Jar was excellent. Uh, a Thousand Ships I also think did a better job, I think it was less comedic, it sort of gave gravitas to the story, that one follows um, sort of the Siege of Troy and it wasn't focused on one character so it was just like the female experience within that war and I felt like that worked better because it was more meandering in tone and so the, the multiple perspectives worked whereas for this because we were we were having Medusa's story I felt like the all the different perspectives didn't work it felt quite stilted and sort of I was just getting into one thing and then would switch to another perspective and that that really took away from my enjoyment of the book uh, so all in all it was fine a thousand ships for me was significantly better um, and, Pando and Pandora's Jar for nonfiction um, this one just missed the mark for me.
have you read it are you going to read it uh, i'd love to know other people's opinions if i'm out on a limb here and i would also just like to thank jack over at spread book joy because i did buddy read this with her um so we were able to sort of like talk about our thoughts as the book went on but yeah it wasn't a bad book but it wasn't the book for me that it was marketed as and therefore i didn't enjoy it um to the level that i wanted to so stone blind by natalie haynes